Hi guys, it's Simulsi here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building here in the world of Oasis Springs, which I have realized I have not built here in such a long time, which is actually a shame because this world is so pretty and I had so much fun building here. I think this house just turned out to be so cute and I hope you guys will like it. It's just a very simple, tiny base game house and I wanted it to feel pretty mid-century, so hopefully that comes across. I did feel a little bit limited using base game trying to create a mid-century home, but I wanted to sort of challenge myself and not use extra packs because I'm actually building something that's really large and I'm purposely trying to use all of the packs. <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it happen, but I'm trying to just like use every resource in the game to create this build. So that'll be coming much later. It's taken me a long time to build it, but either way, I wanted to build something that was more simple and small and just for like a single sim or a couple. I would have preferred to fit another bedroom in here, but honestly, if you were using tiny living, you could use the Murphy bed in the living room and then have the bedroom be for children or something. So I think you can make it work if you do happen to have that pack or if you, I don't know, maybe added a little add-on and didn't want it to be so small, but this lot is very tiny. So of course you'd probably want to place it somewhere else. But either way, I just wanted it to be a small, simple home. And since it's quite boxy, I tried to add some extra details to make it look a little bit more interesting and have some more detail. So I added those planter boxes on the side next to those big windows. And I thought it was such a pretty detail. I was like really proud of myself because I don't know, I just thought it looked nice. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will agree. And then in the back here, I just have a little back porch and a nice little garden area with an outdoor dining table and a barbecue. And then I also have a driveway with a live edit objects car in the driveway, which I thought was fun. Just kind of added a bit of detail to the exterior as well. And it's a bright red car, which I thought was super fun. And yeah, I tried to decorate this pretty mid-century, but since I am using only base game, I was a little bit limited trying to make that come across. I mean, let me know what you guys think because we do have some things from base game that lend themselves a little bit mid-century, but not fully like stuff from uh, the bullying stuff pack and get famous definitely have that style come across a lot stronger. So if that is your thing and you're looking for I don't know, a pack with that style, those two I would highly recommend. And yeah, they're pretty perfect. <laughs> but um, yeah, recently I was actually talking about building something for base game. This is not what I had planned. So I will be having another base game build, hopefully up pretty soon. I mean, I'm not sure how quickly I will get to building it because like I said, I'm working on this other build that is taking up quite a bit of my time, but I'm having so much fun with it. And I think it's so pretty and it's honestly like, probably my dream house. I don't know. We will see. But um, yeah, I was talking in my last base game build about doing another one, but that one I want to be pretty large, maybe for like eight Sims or something. And now that we have bunk beds, I can probably make it happen because every time I try to build like a large family house for eight Sims, I can never make it work <laughs> like ever. I end up having only like three bedrooms in this giant house and I think that's just an issue with my floor planning or the bills just look bigger than they are. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, now that we have bunk beds, I can squeeze more children into smaller bedrooms and make it for eight Sims. So that's my plan for the next base game build. But for now I'm building this one and yeah, I did have a lot of fun decorating this, but like I said, it was kind of limiting not having those extra packs, but I think it actually turned out really nice and it's just kind of clean and minimally decorated. Like I tried to not go overboard because I think that just kind of suits the mid-century style a little bit better because I don't, I don't think of mid-century as being too cluttered. I mean, some personal items I think would like work and not take away from the mid-century look, but I think it's like kind of a more minimalist style. I don't know if I'm correct because I know nothing about interior design. I just decorate in the Sims and try to try to decorate things pretty and to my liking, I guess. But yeah, I really know nothing about different styles. Um, but over here is a little kind of office nook. I get a bookcase in here, just the wall hanging one. I tried using the one where we got, um, we got it during the freelancer career update but it was a bit bulky for the space. So I just ended up using the regular base game one that we've had since the launch of The Sims 4, I believe. And yeah, I just created a nice little office space. And then over here is the bedroom. And the bedroom is quite small, but I made it work. And 
yeah, I tried adding this shelf here and I think it actually looks really nice. Um, I wasn't quite sure about it at the beginning, but I put a few decorations up there and it just made it feel a bit more decorated and personalized. And I think it's quite pretty. And yeah, over here in the corner, I was gonna add like a few plants, but it just kind of started feeling a bit cluttery. So I just left the one and then put a microphone in the corner because that's an object that I don't tend to use very often. So I thought it would be nice to use here. So maybe the sim that lives here is an aspiring comedian or singer or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but here I'm adding the skylight. So I just kind of used the um, roof tool to separate the different pieces and create the skylight. It's really easy to do. Maybe I'll do a tutorial at some point if you guys are interested in that. Um, I should do a lot more tutorials because I mention them all the time and then I never make time to make those videos. But if you guys would be interested in more tutorials, definitely let me know because I've only made a couple so far. But either way, here I'm going through the live edit objects, trying to find a car for the driveway. I was looking for a different one and I guess it came from maybe like a different pack or something because I couldn't find it. So I just ended up going with this red one and it's super cute. I thought it looked really adorable here in the driveway. And yeah, I actually made the landscaping pretty lush. I think this area of Oasis Springs is really beautiful because it has pretty lush landscaping. Like Oasis Springs is like, it's kind of like Palm Springs or somewhere kind of similar to that in uh, California where it's like, it's pretty deserty, but it has some greener areas. And this is definitely the greener area, but it's still pretty deserty. So I just imagine they run a lot of sprinklers, <laughs> um, but I ended up actually using the uh, plants from the regular build and buy ca uh, catalog, which I did recently in my other base game build. And I don't know why I'm doing this in my base game build. I mean, originally when I did it in the last one, it was just to kind of mix up my landscaping. But I think in this one, the plants just, I don't know, just kind of looked nice here. I think the lighting suits the regular build and buy catalog plants a little bit better. And it just felt so like, I don't know, lush and beautiful with all of the flowers and like the colors and stuff. So I really enjoyed it, especially in the backyard. It just feels so like nestled with all of the plants. I don't know if you guys will agree, but it's just such a tiny little backyard and I put so many plants back here, but I just really thought it looked nice. So yeah, just really happy with the way it turned out in general. So hopefully you guys will agree, but either way we are coming up on the screenshot. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this build, but as always, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave any comments or suggestions that you have, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend Troubles to